Hi, everybody. This is Jim Cornette, pro wrestling legend, and you're listening to the Book in the Territory Unprofessional Wrestling Podcast. This is the artist formerly known as Daryl Van Horn, James Mitchell, the Sinister Minister, and I'm here to let you know I would rather slam my cock in a car door than to miss the dulcet tones of Hard Body Harper, my illegitimate son on Booking the Territory podcast. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to this week's episode of our Smoky Mountain Wrestling Podcast. This is Smoky Mountain Wrestling, episode 176, from June 10th, 1995. And this is Booking the Territory, the Unprofessional Wrestling Podcast. I'm sitting here today with Doc and Hard Body Hopper. Yeah, Hopper joining us this time. We've got him yeah. on one episode this week. We'll have to see what happens next week. Lord knows what yeah. that look like. What, what Hopper? What you about to say? Nothing. How you been? Living a dream, brother. Come on, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. All you can be, man. Whoa. And of course, something. What the fuck happened? Just, what is that on Skype? Oh, there, there it went. What the fuck, Doc? What are you doing over there? I don't know. I'm pushing buttons. <laughs> like a kid. So, for the record, Doc's computer is updating, so he is on Skype on his phone. So, if you hear a lot of noise, please don't DM me. Don't tag me on Facebook. Don't tag Hopper and complain. It's Doc. It's the doctor. He's the smart one. <sighs> And he's the one with issues, as always, because he buys $5 computers from our workplace. Anyway, Damn. Doc, how well, are you, man? Well, send it to Lance. Complain to Lance. Lance will get a hold of me. We'll be good. Lance will not get a hold of you, but that is quite all right. Uh, So this is, once again, episode 176, June 10th, 1995. Shout out to Disrespectfully Classy, Marky Blassy, Kyle Riley, Mike Children for your generous patronage each and every month. And this is mostly a recap episode in many ways, just like the episode was last week that we did. I can only imagine Hopper would have blown a gasket had he been on last week's episode, but I'll, you know. Why? Not really. Well, because it was a recap of Corny and the Bullet Bob feud and Cornette, turning on, Cornette turning on Bullet Bob. And you might have had a stroke last week. Doc, I can't feel think? bad for fucking Bullet Bob anymore. Cause I mean, I mean, bro, you fucking know better. It's like Charlie Brown missing that field goal. Yeah. Say, say that again, Hopper, because I, I just started the the video for the Patreon members. I'll say that again about Bullet Bob. You know, I just mentioned that Bob and Corny. You know, Corny turned on Bob, and and then what did you say about Bullet Bob with after Corny turned on him? Because you weren't on the episode. It's just, I mean, I, I mean, you fucking know him. <laughs> So basically, yeah, you're so, saying, so, how many so, times are you going to let the football get pulled from underneath you? Yeah, I can't feel bad for him. So you're saying, reverse he's booking psychology, Cornette ends up being the baby face because he's the smart one. Yeah, exactly. Um, Bob. For the record, I think all of us have said they went back to that too much. Would you agree with that, Doc? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, but again, there's two forces that are are squeezing that. One is you got a small roster because you can't pay a lot. And B, Corny's up in Connecticut half the time. Yeah, fair point. No, I understand that. So, okay. All right. Well, you know, but I'm I, interested in cuz like we haven't had Harper in the Smoky Mountains for a while. He's over been down in Georgia for Saturday nights. Um, I would suggest that a lot has happened, though. And, and, and then I, I watch, and it's like, okay, there's Bullet Bob getting fucked over by Jim Cornette. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he makes a good point, though, Harper. I mean, Doc. <laughs> think about it. He missed, I think he missed about four weeks with us. I can't quite remember. I know it was at least three that he missed with us because the last time we did three and he wasn't here. So he missed three. And then before that, I think he even missed like Hey, you hear that guy? Yeah. Did you hear that? What? what I is think that? I'm about in business here, Bryce. We're going to get this thing even more unprofessional here in a minute. Oh, your computer's booting back up? Hello? Plug this some buck in. All right. Can you answer my question, though? What's my? I was too busy partying with my computer. What's the question? I said, I said Hopper's probably missed at least seven to eight episodes because of work scheduling co conflicts and everything we had going on. 
but uh, all that he missed, you heard what he said? I turned it on and I saw Cornette turn on Bullet Bob and I'm like, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, but oh. the other thing is, is that he is, he's missed Al Snow partying. He's turned into something. Yeah. Well, speaking of Al Snow, so let's get into it. Um, Again, this is mostly a recap episode, just like last week. Chip Kessler tells us, he calls it a special edition of Smoky Mountain where we will Say, walk friend, through I'm hanging community. up. Call me back on Skype in just a minute, all right? You text me when you're ready. I'm going to keep going. Okay. All right. So Kessler tells us this is a special edition of Smoky Mountain Wrestling where we will walk through the feud with Al Snow, Unabom, and the Rock and Roll Express. So the first 26 minutes of the episode walks through everything we have covered since late February of 1995. So while we have enjoyed the feud and many of the great promos and match finishes and all that good stuff, I don't know how much it make. I don't know how much it makes sense for us to walk through every single bit of it and rehash it all. Now I'm going to call Doc back in a second uh, before we move forward and see if he's got some specific timestamps uh, that he wants to play. But Hopper, you're laughing at what on the screen yeah, right that, now. Yeah, this was funny. That was fucking great when he imitated when he, Ricky Morton. And he, uh, it's just when he intimidates uh, uh, Gibson's mom talking to him. Yes, I'll I'll play that one. I'll play that one. <laughs> let, me, let me get Doc in. the The whole segment was fabulous. You weren't you weren't on you weren't on that show when we did it, but it, it was it was phenomenal when they did that. So let me um let me call Doc. He's he's texting me now saying he's he's back on his computer and ready to roll. And his shit show of a computer that he bought from work for ten bucks is working. So let's see let's see if we can get him on and um we'll get this party on and popping. But that was a great promo. You know, that that was. Oh, it's saying he's unavailable again. No oh, shit. It's probably Commodore sixty four. Oh god, this asshole! I swear, dude, he really does. He buys these these five dollar computers from work that have been refurbished. Yeah. God knows what kind of shit they're infected with, right? I'm just saying. I mean. If it's a work computer, you know no one's been fucking looking at porn and, and shit like that. Are you on, Doc? He's showing on. Come on, asshole. I don't have to do all this work to edit this shit out. Where is he? It's showing he's on. We can't hear him, though. Hi. This fucking asshole. Uh, you know what? Fuck him. That's no, nice. don't, don't don't fuck me. <laughs> that we're the unprofessional wrestling podcast because I'm not editing that out. All right, can you, can you hear me? On? Yeah, I can, can you hear me? Now. It's a blessing, yeah. isn't it? Can you hear us? Uh yeah, I can hear you, pal. All right, here we go. So um, here, here's my here's my thing. Jesus Christ. Harper, how's Listen. it going? How's it going? Yeah. Look, look, look at that. Look at that, Harper. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking awesome. Look at what, motherfucker? Explain what you are talking about. I'm getting tired of this shit. <laughs> Al Snow wearing a big blonde wig that doesn't really do anything. Um, I got a question for Harper. Huh? How does it feel to be working in a federation right now that outdraws Smoky Mountain? But they did you but they did this every night though. Okay. Hmm. So in this video that you're showing, Harper, did you see this? Yes, when he makes fun of uh Gibson's mom. Yeah. Well, and I was saying that as ridiculous as Al Snow is, Kane is worse. Can you hit play for the video patrons so that they can see Kane over there with his Gibson impersonation? Yeah, we saw this a while back, but let's hit play. Here's here's Gip, here's here's them imitating the Rock and Roll Express, them being Snow and Unibomb. All I got to say is, Al Snow, Unibomb, please don't hurt us no more. Please, you beat us up so bad. We can't take it anymore. In fact, you beat us up so bad, Robert Gibson's mama's even wrote us a note. And she, right there, that's right. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Robert, you dummy, your mother wrote it in sign language. I can't read sign language oh, that well. Please stop that. Dear Mr. Stone, Mr. Unibom, please don't beat up my boys anymore. Don't hurt Ricky Morton or my little Look at him doing the hand signal. Anymore, please, sir. <laughs> Signed Mrs. Gibson. Who's it? Ooh. Oh, that's, Jesus that's right. Christ. That's you, Robert. That's what your mother used to call you because she couldn't talk. All right. Fans, it came down to a singles chat. Okay, go ahead. What? That's that's filthy, dude. That's fucking great. <laughs> it is great because most there's a lot of people that wouldn't catch that, I think. So he's playing sort of halfway inside baseball with. And Kane's, you know, Kane's green in doing that. Okay, so let me throw this out at y'all and Hopper. Uh, what would the cancel culture of today's society do if they did that on television today? They would burn the fucking place down. <laughs> and that is my point about when we let things offend us to the point of trying to get rid of people and whatnot. I ain't saying there aren't inappropriate things that are said on television. My point is that was fucking foul right there. <laughs> he it imitated yeah. a deaf a deaf woman and went Arr. he also he also made fun of a baby face that communicates with his deaf parents by sign language on wrestling that was foul <laughs> so I got a question Al Snow's been really good lately hadn't he yeah Mike this was this was good Mike I'm the one that told you I don't know why you said Al Snow was a mess in Smoky Mountain. Don't come at me like that. I'm just saying. It's interesting to me that Al Snow is an upgrade over Ed, the recently deceased Eddie Gibbs. Yeah. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, Eddie. I don't know what he's doing. Eddie would have been good in Smoky, but I mean, Al Snow didn't drop the ball. Look at Bobby Blaze walking around with a Gatorade. <laughs> so, again, if you could go to 1034, I have a timestamp. Mm -hmm. If we're actually going to do this damn recap bullshit, and I didn't even want to do this episode, you made me do it. That's not true. Um, dude, that spike pile driver, look at this, Harper. That looks, this is awesome. Boom. Oh, fuck. Can't do that anymore. Did Paul you Drive see the, this? Paul Driver's he banned in Louisiana. Really? Yeah. They're supposed to be. Un, un, until, the w, until the WWE rolls into town or somebody else with some money and, and can pay off the Louisiana Boxing and Wrestling Commission to allow them to do it. Yeah, I see. Are, are you suggesting that there's rampant government corruption? Yes. The Louisiana okay. Boxing and Wrestling Commission is a fucking joke. That's nice. Come on, man. Harper's got to work there. Yeah, no, he, he disagrees with me, right, okay. Hopper? Yeah, they're just See? good people that are trying to do what has been mandated by law. They're criminals and thieves, is what they are. But proceed. I'm just saying. What are they gonna do to me? Arrest me? No, but they might make Harper's life difficult. You. He disagrees with me. He loves the people there. You didn't. You heard him. I love the commissioner. See? Okay. Good job, Harper. All right. Okay, what else you got, Doc, in this feud recap? Um, at some point, did you catch Harper that when in an interview that Al Snow calls Morton's wife a, or girlfriend a bag of yeast or a yeast bag? He says something like that, yeah. Fuck. What do you think about that? Is that classy? That's fucking gross, you fucking yeast bag. <laughs> Snow is working stiff, man. Look at this. You people brought your children out to cheer for a man who wore women's clothes. Now, I'll be it. Oh, come on I, now. This is carrying it too far. I've heard that Ricky Morton looks very attractive in high heels and pantyhose. But you people are sick enough to worship a man that wears things like this, however be it is tasteful. So, 
All right. I had to play that part when he pulls out the lingerie. Uh, okay. And Les is, can... Les is mad. Keep going, Doc. Yeah, so can you go to 1808? Okay. Am I playing audio from it or just playing no. it for us? No, you don't need to play audio. Look at this, Harper. Oh, yeah. Elvis. All right, so what do you think about Elvis? I mean, remember those tapes? The dwarf tapes, yes. They were they were yeah. funny, actually. <laughs> the dwarf tapes were funny. Notice how Harper just completely blew past your question. I mean, what do you want me to say about Elvis? Yeah, I don't know what he's looking for either, Harper. Yeah. I was just wondering if you like Elvis. Um, I mean, doesn't everyone pull a gown no. there? No. I can't stand that shit. Yeah, I don't fucking listen to Elvis. I'm not fucking 80 years old. Come on now. You listen to you listen to the Bullet Boys because you're 40. Yeah. <laughs> Move up in ya. Whoa. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Elvis? Mike? I don't. I don't. I what always think about Elvis, baby. I always think about the Public Enemy song. Are we talking Elvis. Smoky Mountain here Elvis. or Elvis? I have no interest in Elvis. I'm just, I'm just gonna lay that out there. I don't give two flying fucks about talking you, about Elvis. Why are you so angry? I'm just curious. Are, are we talking thought, Smoky I thought, Mountain? I thought, I thought we, I, well, I thought we were supposed to be sounding like three guys that like each other that just sit around and talk wrestling. <laughs> well, I like, like y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like it's Look, supposed to be like hanging out with your buddies, and you're not sounding like a buddy right now. You're asking me about Elvis. I have no Elvis. thoughts about Elvis. None. I know you haven't he been died. to Graceland. No, and I have no desire I've, to go there. I've been to Graceland. Your dad and mom took you there, Harper. Yeah. Oh, tell us all about it, please. This should be great. He had a room full of fucking TVs that were like in a wall. That was cool. I think I could get down with something like that, especially if Hell yeah, football Hell yeah, because he, he died in seventy seven, so mm -hmm. he was he was pulling multimedia way back in the day. Yeah. yeah, for real. I mean that's pretty 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 good shit, yeah. And uh I know a uh, silver what's the girl from uh, Moonlighting? Sybil Shepherd. Yeah, she taught him how to eat pussy. What? That's what she says. See see Mike, this is why we talk about Elvis. I don't know how to process what Harper just said. Dude, yeah. Sybil, Sybil Shepherd was lights out hot too. Yeah. She where did you? Where did him. you? Where did you hear this? Please. Yeah, yeah. I need. I need. It more. was on fucking Johnny Carson once back in the day. Fucking Google it on your phone. <laughs> okay. I'm um, telling you. I guarantee you, she didn't say I taught help. Elvis how to eat pussy on Johnny Carson back in the day. She may have said it, but she just didn't use those words. Yeah. Right. Okay. So right. We're clear. We're clear there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Doc, well, any other, anything she else should call me. here? She should call me. I already know how. Yeah, me too. I, I told you. I, I told you guys, man, I'd get down with Missy Hyatt today. Damn. I remember, I remember back in the day, uh, Whenever, whenever it was like a group of white dudes around black dudes, like black dudes never would admit to doing that, and white dudes were like shit. Yeah, I eat, I eat me some 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 snatch. What are you talking about? Which one were you? Brothers would be like, man, I ain't doing no no. My partner used to call it muff diving. He's like, I don't do no muff diving. Yeah, right. That's what he used to say. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever you say. I just I I I just, yeah, I didn't say nothing. See, uh, I, I, I kind of played the middle. She she was a Miss Teenage Memphis model and actress revealed she introduced Elvis to a certain sexual techniques when they <laughs> dated in the early 70s. <laughs> well, Harper always brings some kind of gold, let me tell you, pal. Oh, all right. Okay, so let's see here. If she was in the early 70s. She was a teenager. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ.
I guess that's I guess that's how this shit was in Memphis with fucking Lawler and all of them. Come on. I'm just <laughs> if your if your da- if your name is the king in Memphis, you're dating young girls. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that's quite Allegedly, come on, y'all. Whatever. You can't say that. <laughs> oh man, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is. You're wrong. I I, I do not co-sign that. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Doc, what else you got? Can we keep going? We can keep going. All right. Any other timestamps on the on the feud that these guys had? Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's so funny, bro. What's wrong Wait. with you? What? What you what? just said? <laughs> what? What's what so funny? Said? What you just sent me is foul and funny. Well, well, won't you? Won't you tell us what it is? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's a it's a meme and a picture, and on the left hand side is a what Siamese twin, a Siamese twin with two heads <laughs> sitting in the in the forest, <laughs> <laughs> and on the right is Hard Body Harper in his suit, all looking like somebody, and says, "That's a double." <laughs> that's a, that's a double letter. Double header, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're sitting there, like, gets the senior pitchers. Yeah. Is, is it considered one or two? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm not going to hell. All I did was get receive the test. Yeah. That was in that was in the Facebook group. <laughs> and. I'm afraid of what happens over there with these filthy animals, dude. <laughs> I got a feeling that our listeners are worse than we are. <laughs> they mm-hmm. Many of them think we don't push the envelope far enough. Ugh. I'm, I'm just sorry. Gonna... You want me to come out here and spot monkey? What you're really getting is a true approximation of the three of us in real life. If we did uh... anything more, we'd just be spot monkeys. Yeah, for real. <laughs> We really would. Um, okay. What, what, what else do we have going on here? What, what what else are we talking about on this feud? <laughs> well, Harper, what'd you think when Kane came out of the, the damn ring? I'm like, uh, okay. They fucking do that shit here, too? Well, they did it here first. Right, yeah, yeah. I guess we're not going to find out who's outside the ring. And I can't. Oh, yeah. Because if you guys are sending in Smoky Mountain questions to the drive through they ain't reading them. Yeah, no, I want to point that out. So I know um, I know a bunch of people have said they've sent them in, and they're not getting read on the show. It's just that asshole from fucking Starksville. <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that dude from Chalks. Damn, Doc, silence your phone, man. That's not me. Um, yeah, it is. But anybody who did the thoughts and prayers dog for a Harper dog should be D A W G in this instance. That's that's um that's that's uh William Bozard. He, he did that. All right, Bozard, get great. it get it together, pal. Okay, so, what do you think about the the Santa racket needs to be covered when dealing with ho hos with, with with Corny and and Sonny? Oh, I, I miss Sonny, man. I She's going to spend her Christmas in, in, in fucking jail eating bologna sandwiches. Oh, God. All right. She might, get... be, she might be eating bologna sticks from the guards. You oh, oh cool. come on. I mean, if you were a prison guard, wouldn't you take advantage of your position? No. And force what yourself flavor, on her? What flavor bologna sticks do you think she's having, bro? Mm. Uh, any and all. Dipped in wow. chocolate. That's nice. What is this? Okay. This doesn't look good. Oh no. Let's get back on track. So what I did want to say. Is... When you what? What? What are you saying? Bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> What's wrong? What? Bruh. What? I, 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 ain't <laughs> I, I ain't reading that. Who said yeah. that? <laughs> 
I just want to say. I can cross these color barriers, so you're going to have to help me out here. Well, you don't have to say that. All I know is Michael Angel, longtime Patreon member, Hall of Famer, sent in that one that says, when you're cleaning out your room and you find that used condom under your bed from 18 years ago, and it's a picture of a dude in a trash bag. <laughs> Arthur, what color is this gentleman? He is a, an African-American He's male. African-American. Yeah. Just so everybody knows, an African-American man posted this meme. So I'll just they found that, that underneath Mike's fucking bed. That's a nice, asshole. Fuck you. For real. <laughs> okay, let's get the show back on track. We are wrapping up now the Rock and Roll Express and Al Snow Unibom feud. Um, Doc, I don't have any other thoughts. Do you? No, I mean, this is a, we probably wouldn't have gone into it this in depth if Harper wasn't here, but he is here and we want to catch him up so that he can, like, be out again. Right, right. Because I know he's not going to probably be on the next couple. So. There you have it. Um, yeah, this shit look rough. Yeah, they hung the hung, shit out of him. Yeah. When he got, when he, yeah, when Morton got hung on a scaffold, man, he, that's looking pretty, pretty stiff, man. He's, he's on his tippy toes. And they're trying to get him out. It's rough. I agree with you. Okay. Doc, did you have anything from the promo that they play of Morton after all of this wrap up is happening? No. Purple jacket, man. That why does that jacket that Morton's wearing look like something a grandma would wear? It does. Huh? I'm just. Gonna, one, I'm just. Gonna, it's one of those nineties gonna windbreakers. I'm gonna go do some shopping at the mall this morning. I want a little, TJ Maxx. It's a little chilly outside. And Gibson just looks like a fucking the guy you see fucking walking in a Circle K to get a pack of fucking Paul Malls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, y'all are t- uh, y'all are talking about the NWA World Heavyweight Champions today. Well, that's what I was about to say because they are starting, they're starting to look they're starting to look old. They're starting to look old here. Yeah, and they're the yeah. champs today. So, I was going to say, Ricky during his promo, he says something about outlasting everyone, and God damn it, it's 2020, and they're still here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah no. hey, that promo. Hey. They said it back in the '80s, man. Rock and roll was here to stay. They ain't here like, to play. <laughs> they're fucking serious about that shit. <laughs> Living uh, the gimmick, brother. They really were, man. They really were. Okay, so here we go. We'll keep going. I'll recap what's going on on the Patreon video and in the show. Uh, Kessler mentions a few things here as they wrap up. Well, right after they wrap up the Rock and Roll Express and Unibomb and Kane feud, or Unibomb and Snow feud. Uh, back from commercial, Kessler mentions a special stretcher match with the Gangsters versus the Thugs where one man must be carried out. But before that, this Friday in Knoxville, we will have the Thugs versus the Gangsters versus PG-13 where the winner supposedly will get $10,000. There will be two refs, Mark Curtis and Randy Hales. Now, we'll hear from the participants in this match, but real quick, I wanted to say something. I looked some things up. According to my records, New Jack's last Smoky Mountain appearance is on June the 10th at Johnson City. And it was he and D'Lo versus the Thugs in a stretcher match that Jack and D'Lo lost. I think this three-way triple threat thing that they show right here, I think that uh, that thing, this match, it ends up being the Thugs versus PG-13 versus another team that's going to debut next week. Uh, the triple threat match, the triple chat Tag, tag match on June the 16th. Uh, by that point, the gangsters, as we know, are, are gone. So the gangsters are advertised here, but they're gone by that point. And when I say the gangsters, I'm talking about the originals, New Jack and Mustafa. Uh, D'Lo and Killer Kyle, if you consider them the gangsters, they stick around for a little while, but Jack and Mustafa, they're gone. And that's that. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, Doc, do you have any... I was going to play the gangsters' last promo uh, before we... Right off I, thought you, sunset. I thought we played it last week. No, I thought so too, but it's not. Here it is. You said thug? A, a redneck hillbilly ain't no thug. You looking at the true thug. You looking at the true gangsters. And now you're going to get the daylight beat out of you. And then we got... 
Parental Goddess 13. You think you gonna bebop and hip hop from Memphis, Tennessee to Knoxville? Thinking you gonna come in here waving your hands in the air, talking about you wanna get a little bit? Well, you ain't gonna stand between $10,000 and me and Mustafa, you understand? We gonna show you what it's like. I'm gonna give you a first hand look of what the gangsters like. You see, stealing hubcaps don't make you a gangster. Waving your hands in the air don't make you a gangster. Stealing cars and stealing cars radios don't make you a gangster. You want to see why people don't want us to come to their town? Because boy, we ain't one to be played with. You see, I ain't got my daddy walking me from one organization to another, mm. getting me where I need to get. I earn what I got, partner. So PG-13, you want some? Bring it on, because you gonna see this ain't gonna be the first and last time you gotta deal with the gangsters. I got Knoxville, and I... All right, did you want to say something about the gangsters first before we go to these two? That was good, man. Yeah. I Who was he talking dad. about? Jamie Dundee. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. You ain't no gangster. You're a... What's the word, Mike? It starts with a W. No, I'm Rhymes not going to say it. Rhymes with... What? <laughs> trigger. I'm going to let him hang himself. No, it rhymes with... It rhymes with... Trigger. God. <laughs> Grow up. That's what I'm just saying. That's what I think New Jack is saying. You want to be like us, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I love the shot he took at Dundee. That's rough. I don't have yeah. my daddy walking me from one promotion to another. Uh. Bitch ass. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That was stiff and beautiful. Okay. Any 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 other thoughts on that part, Harper? Uh uh. All right, bye, new Jack. Bye, bye, new Jack. Yeah, bye, <laughs> new Jack. <laughs> we had fun while you were here, but let's keep going. Here it is. Here's a uh, Every, everything. Everything comes to an end. Everything does. Here's PG thirteen and Randy Hills. I absolutely couldn't believe what I saw. The referee assigned for that match didn't even know the rules. He didn't have a clue about the rule book. So all I did. I went up to the ring, I told him the rules, I told him what Tracy Smothers and Dirty White Boy did, and then he reversed the decision, and the USWA tag title went back where they belonged, the team that won the titles. Then, all of a sudden I find out that we have a chance to win $10,000, but instead of PG-13 wrestling one team, one mid-level team, they have to go against two teams because they know PG-13 can go through any one team they have. To protect my interests, because I do protect the interests of my tag team champions, I will be one of two referees, and I promise you, we will leave Smoky Mountain Wrestling as the USWA tag team champions, and we'll have 10 grand going back to Music City. You know, fans, never in my wildest dreams would have I ever believed that another official from another wrestling organization like Randy Hills from the USWA would lie to me. But after viewing the tape of what happened between PG-13 and the thugs happened in Knoxville, well, he lied. Just pure plain facts. So next time at the Triple Threat, he's going to be in the refereeing with me. I'm going to keep one eye on the wrestler and the other eye on Randy Hills. You know something, white boy? We're talking about stretcher match, man. We're talking about going to somebody gets carried out. You know, we've had chain matches with these guys. We've had cage matches and with them. All. We've, I've had my head busted a million times, and I'm getting sick and damn tired of it. If somebody don't like what I'm saying, lump it. Let me tell you something, gangsters. It goes like this. T is for terrible. H is for hell. U is for ugly. And G is for jail. Because a thug can't spell. spell. It don't matter if you're black or white. As long as you know what we mean. And we're talking about triple threat, too, with people. Triple threat, June 16th, Friday night, in my place, my oh, building, K-Town at the Coliseum. Those two little bitty punk cute boys going to come into my backyard with some scrawny long-legged drink of water referee. You mean the hell I'm a big official? No, you boys can't have them belts. We got cheated out of it. And then the gangsters, you want to come in here? All you want is equal opportunity. Well, you're going to get equal opportunity oh, yeah. when I take you upside the head, I stretch you out, 
PG-13, we're stretching them all out, and me and this man right here are splitting 10 grand. And they're going to be rated triple X when we're done with them. That's what I'm screaming. Fan Doc. Doc, What's with did? all the breathing? Stop breathing, Harper. All right. Um, <laughs> he fell asleep. We need to let Harper go. He's been working all night. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He Bro, is, is he wearing a toupee? <laughs> <laughs> Every time he comes on, that's what I think. Harper, did you fall asleep? No. Dude, it sounded like you were snoring. Yeah. I don't um, know if he... It, I don't think, I don't think so. Because he's got hair now. Like, uh, oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen I pictures thought, of him. I thought the superstar there was Tracy at all that. Tracy was really good. Yeah. It don't matter if you're black or white. See, that's, how we, that's what we've been saying. Yeah, Michael. We're the, most, success, hate. We're the most successful multiracial podcast in the business. Oh, my God. We are. You're, you are going straight to fucking hell. Why? You ain't passing go. You ain't collected 200. I, no uh, why? I, I, we're welcoming of all people. All of God's children are welcome here. Now you quoting right? scripture. Okay. Yeah, well, it's hard, to, it's hard to yell at me if I'm standing on the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Boy, <laughs> boy. <laughs> you just said a mouthful there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Tracy was great though, because he's like he had fire, and he's got his wrap down, and he's getting ready to. They're getting ready to win this stretcher match. Damn it! Look at they this! Are. Look at look at this, Harper. So from I know from you that... hate. I know you. I know you hate uh, it, but that's a fireball, dude. Yeah, uh, you, you 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 idiot. Get him, Terry. Um, so. We'll have to see what happens with the stretcher match. I don't think it's televised. I can't remember, to be honest. But I will tell you this. We go straight to a recap of Cornette, who's turns on Bullet Bob. This is the part that Harper loved, and um, he's calling the, pro the problem. Bob with the, the problem with this is it's hard to top what they did to him in the cage when they actually legit broke his ribs. That's very true, because in the cage, they beat, they beat the, the shit, shit out of him for yeah. a long time. So maybe if they'd have had the fireball in the cage, it would have been it would have been even better. But that would have been fucking overkill. That's <laughs> true because um, when he was handcuffed to the cage, Corny wore his ass out and had back and that's like, with him. That's like shooting a rope on your girl's chest and then taking an actual football and spiking it in the puddle of cum. Then come yeah. on, who does what? that? Grow up. Touchdown. I mean, seriously, Doc. Did you really just say that? Yeah. Stupid. Okay, why any did, other thoughts why did you on that? Why did you text me a high five emoji? I didn't. Any other thoughts on that? On the turn? I mean, nothing. We've seen it. Yeah, I didn't. Have, I wouldn't play this promo either. It was. I guarantee you, they're probably going to do it three more times before it. <laughs> no, no. The no, no. promotion folds up. They won't they do it three more. They won't do it three more times. They've only got four more months left, so that's that's not going to happen. But I will say this. Um, Bob Armstrong in that promo said you made suckers out of all of us, and Cornette, he did pull a fast one, although I think most of us saw it coming, and that's all we had. Okay. Say, say bro, did you hear recently a couple months back on Conrad when they did the Clash of the Champions, and he bagged on... Uh, Buddy Landale. No, I didn't. What did he say? He was just saying he never got Buddy Landale, and he's just blah, 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 and it's just small time wrestling, and I, yeah, I disagree. I'm, I disagree I'm, with that. Who's Conrad? I don't know. Conrad Thompson. Oh, that, yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, everybody's got an opinion. Well, it's probably because that. Buddy is a knockoff of his Pop Pop. Well, a Pop Pop is a knockoff of my Pop Pop, so that's all I want to say to that. Man, that's nice. Well, I'm just saying. But we'll keep going. We'll start no there's, no, there's no black nature, boys. 
I'm talking about my father-in-law. <laughs> ah, all right. No, it's all good. Conrad's a good dude. Don't don't get your panties in a bunch, people. We um, There is one more promo in this episode. It is Al Snow and Unibomb, the dynamic duo, and they've got something to say. So let's go to them now. Smoky Mountain Wrestling fans, that's right. Al Snow and Unibomb bought the time for this interview. We had to. We felt it was necessary. Oh, and I'll pay you back next week, okay? Don't worry. We felt it was necessary to tell you fans the truth. This program all today has been out. It's just been nothing to show us as the bad guys. Look, all we've done is done what we said we would do. We ended the careers of the Rock and Roll Express. A little minor inconvenience that they've come back. But we still did what we said we would do. And here Smoky Mountain is using their bias to portray us as something we're not. Now, that aside, we're here for two reasons. We want to make two statements to you fans. Number one is the Rock and Roll Express, they've had their last title shot. We defended these belts in Charlotte on May 20th, and they lost. Well, that was a foregone conclusion they would, but they lost. And as the contract states, we don't have to defend these titles except for once every 30 days. And there are plenty of other teams that have a hell of a lot more heart and a hell of a lot more soul than the Rock and Roll Express do. And boys, face it, you disinterest us anymore. So from now on, you don't get any more title shots. The second thing that I want to make clear here, I want, I want, I want to put somebody on notice because somebody snuck in to our dressing room and took something of a, a personal item of mine out of my bag. Now, I believe it was a wrestler, and I think we know who it was, don't we? And if we don't have that return next week, then we're going to come looking for whoever took it. And believe me, we know who took it. And if we don't get it back, you might get a package in the mail from my partner. Or you might get us in the mail. You never know. So if you know what's good for you, you'll return it. Next week, if we don't have it in our hands, all hell is going to break loose. I guarantee it. Doc, your thoughts on this promo? I thought it was good. It said something else up. And look at that sheet metal in the back. You see that shit? Yeah, it's just like some fucking standard building. I would have said down there in the Smokies, that might have been the governor's mansion. <laughs> That's where Dolly Parton lives. How does she stuff? How does she stuff those big balloons in there? Wow. Hey, would you, Harper? Would you, would you titty fuck her today? No. No. But imagine what she looks like at fucking six in the morning when she wakes up. Fuck. But don't turn on the light. Oh God. What happened lights to off. a mouth is a mouth, bruh? Yeah, lights, lights, lights off, socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know, you know, Hopper always says, "Bruh, I like a little bit of light. I like to see what I'm working, <laughs> working with." Yeah, he's, for real, huh? He's been on record to say that before. Yeah, you just keep the bathroom door light on. Yeah. You get a little bit of light. Not, not too yeah. much, but he, the man wants to see what he's working with. Exactly. It's easier, it's easier to slip it in the wrong hole if the light's not on. Yeah. Oops. I thought this was a good promo. I thought uh, it teased something for next week with the whole they stole something. Uh, it, it ends up being a little corny, but I, I'm all for it. It's not, it's not horrible. Uh, some of the stuff they do on TV nowadays is ridiculously corny, so it's fine. Harper, do you have anything from it? Uh-uh. Uh, what they steal? We gotta wait till next week. Fuck. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you after I hit the stop on it. I don't want to spoil it for the listeners out there. So okay, um, Doc, we need to we need to give out some disability checks and do the government cheese award and all that good stuff. Before we do so, the holidays have passed. Make sure you use our Amazon referral link. All those gift cards you got, go to tinyurl.com slash btt amazon. And use those gift cards on our Amazon link. We definitely would appreciate it. Again, it's tinyurl.com slash BTT Amazon. Great way to support the show without spending anything extra. Uh, it is disability check time. Doc, how many disability checks are you giving this one? 
Man, I've seen all this shit, so I'm going to say a 6.4. Wow, okay. Hop, are you? I'll give it a fucking uh, 7.5. All right. So we need to give out the Government Cheese Award now. Before we do so, remember, become a patron and get all that extra patron gold at tinyurl.com slash patreonbtt. 200 plus Patreon episodes are up there available waiting for you to listen to them at tinyurl.com slash patreonbtt. If your broad out there says, or if your broad did not give you what you wanted for Christmas, and she says she's asking you why you're salty, tell her you should have got me the BTT Patreon subscription at tinyurl.com slash Patreon BTT. All right. Government Cheese Award time. Oh, I don't know. It, these fucking recap shows kill me. Yeah, no. Huh? It's like I already gave it to Al Snow for imitating Ricky Morton. So I, it's got to be him. You, well, yeah, and it was the first time you saw it. So, okay, you're going to give it to him. Doc, who are you yeah. giving it to? What? Who are you giving it to? Government Cheese. Al Snow. I don't, yeah, it would for the it full body would... of work. For the full body of work. Well, there you go with that bullshit. Full body of work. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, inside joke, people. Inside joke. Okay. Uh, any other thoughts, Doc? Before we um hit the go home queue and ride off into the sunset. Hit the go home queue and ride off into the sunset. Well, I want to talk about that, but first I want to talk about no. Um, no, I think I'm good, man. Let's get we 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 gave the people a. a episode much longer than they deserve on a on a recap week so i'm good to go okay hopper what about you good to go yo yeah let's fucking go bro all right hit the tagline hopper and get us out of here fuck this shit bitch Before we get out of here, I want to say thank you to all of our patrons out there for supporting this show and making this show possible twice per week, every single week with the Smoky Mountain shows and the NWA shows. And um, I mean, look, I know you get extra shows, but ultimately, when you are a patron for us and support us on Patreon, we thank you because it does help the eight free shows as well. So I know we do extra stuff, but with that said, patrons out there such as yourself, thank you for for being patrons. And if you're not one, remember, become one at tinyurl.com slash patreonbtt. Over 200 plus episodes are available on Patreon for you to enjoy and listen to you. Listen to extra stuff that we've done, wrestling stuff, non-wrestling stuff. And when I say non-wrestling stuff, it's nothing political or social things in the world. It's just Harper, Doc, and I having tons of fun talking about just utter stupidity uh, for entire episodes. So that's that's 
what you have to look forward to. There's a lot there. The Dallas Cowboys ring rat house. Harper talking about the worst places to take a dump. So much stuff that's available on Patreon. Now, I also want to say a special shout out to our our Hall of Fame Patreon members, Don Dippinett, uh, Lee Russell, MDQ for Life, George Davis, Kevin Carter, Michael Angel, Bob Richards, Rocky Swayzo, Christopher Champer, Will Harkey, Robbie Dyson, Rick Beebe, Brad Dunife, and Tom Schlegel, Coach Joey Chase, a.k.a. Willie Chase, Steve Malbasa, LaRon Brown, Kenny Byersdorf, Glenn Abbott at GA Russell Nut on Twitter, Bobby Murray, Marlon Mueller at, at Half Points Point on Twitter. Keep cutting those promos, kid. You're the man, Marlon. Thank you, man. I appreciate your support. Long time. Josh Warren, you too, long time supporter. Everett Starr, Mike Childry, Kyle Riley, disrespectfully classy Marky Blassie, Craig Norman, Johnny on Patreon, the great John Dean at YRC21 on Twitter, Josh Dunn. Ryan and Auburn, good old Justin Robert Smith, Joseph Ice, Tim Morecci, the BTT Research Department, Adam Price, Brian Evans, Mark Wilson, Armando Martinez, David Jordan, Jesse Jacobs, Chris Myers, Gerald Green, Mitchell Johnson, Mike Pru from the Bottom Line cast. Make sure y'all check that show out. Him and JV do a great job. And Mike Pru is also uh, a co-host on the ECW Extreme Live cast on our Patreon feed. Will Parker, Jeremy Bryant, Classy Alex, David DeVries, SV Padgham, Bill Salsa, Big Rich, at Spy Boy Sports Cap, Ari Miller, 39, Jay Shiny, Ruben Espinosa, Merciless Jones, Jesse Lucas, Chris Browning, Justin underscore Andretti, Cole Mini 22, Marty Howell, T Hog 94, God Bold Unreal. Thank you for all of your support. And lastly, like always, thank you to everyone. Uh, oh, I can't forget. Check out the Bottom Line cast with Mike Pru and JV. They have a podcast series where they're getting close to the end, but they've chronicled the career of Stone Cold Steve Austin month by month and on a weekly basis. It's a really good show. They basically just go through Stone Cold's entire career. I say entire career. It's mostly his WWF stuff, but Mike and JV also do the ECW show uh, on our Patreon feed and that show they do on their free feed. Uh, just search the Bottom Line Wrestling Cast on or go on to Twitter at Bottom Line Cast and you can find them. Thank you everyone for all of your support. That's it. We're going to get out of here. You know what Harper always says when you get out of here. When we get out of here, book it, bitch. <laughs>